Hi, hello, how are you? And welcome back to another episode of the Witch in the City Challenge. Now, as you can see, Doodle is not feeling her best, but we're not going to the vet today. Um, sorry, Doodle, I love you, but, um... I really want to complete our plant aspiration, but I'm also kind of tired of hanging around here. So we're going to go dun, 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 on a vacation. And I know I said, like, we don't want to do, like, I want this challenge to be accessible and doable for people who don't have anything but the um, city lit it city living city living um expansion pack which is still true but we are going into vacation in the outdoor retreat world which i can't think of the name of it oh granite falls we're going to granite falls but just because that's a place to go not because does that make sense like i just want to go somewhere your sim could go anywhere if you have like you want to take a vacation quote unquote and you don't have any either of the vacation packs then you could just travel to a random lot and hang out there for a couple days i don't care live your life um but yeah i just want a change of scenery and there are a lot of plant related things to do there so even though those things won't help the challenge they will help her level up which is what we need to do so without further ado well let's do what's the problem other than that you're sick. Oh, she's so cute. Okay, anywho. Let's see. What's the deal, Doodle? Oh, she's hungry. You have food. Okay. Well, <laughs> we're going to take a vacation, and it's going to be great. It's going to be us and Doodle and nature, and we're not inviting Penny Pizzazz because she slighted us. Who is Adelaide Garden? We must have met her at our hot dog-filled costume party. Sprinkles. Anywho, let's go on vacation. Dun, dun, dun. Also, I think Vivian's outfits are perfect for this. Where's Doodle off to? All right, let's see. Dun, 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 dun. Also, thank you guys for bearing with me about this episode is late. If you're watching this in the future, then it's not late for you. But if you were like someone who keeps up with me and you're like, Witch in the City was not up on Tuesday. Um, no, it wasn't. And I'm sorry. But I was originally going to do just kind of like a standard, you know, Witch in the City episode. And then I was like, no, we're going on vacation. And so I needed to kind of, like, take a step back and figure out what I was doing with my life. You know, that kind of stuff. And I decided last minute, too, that I wanted to do something different with this episode. So I didn't really have time to do this. Like, I don't know. It was just a timeline. Plus, guys... I know, I'm doing a loading screen talk here. And I don't know if you guys enjoy them. Maybe you skip over them. I don't know. But I like doing my loading screen talks because I've got a lot of loading screen. <laughs> um, but lately, I am so busy that I can't play The Sims ever. And it's killing me. The only time I've been playing The Sims lately in the past couple weeks is when I'm recording. So you guys have no idea how much I appreciate how much you motivate me to make these videos because it gives me time to play the sims and streaming with you guys gives me time that i can set aside to play the sims and oh my gosh thank goodness for you guys because as busy as i am honestly if i didn't have any reason to i might not upload videos right now and i know that's sad and if like you keep up with me you're like what what are you talking about but yeah i'm just I'm a semester away from graduating from college, and so, like, the workload is, like, level 12 out of 10, and then, like, just, 
I have a lot of pets, so that's a job. And I'm not complaining about that. Like, I love my pets. And I wish I had even more time to spend with them because they take up a lot of my time anyway. But I want more time because animals are, like, one of my favorite things. And then just, like, trying to live my life at its most basic. Just so busy. And I miss The Sims because I just want more time to play. Because normally I play The Sims, like, hours and hours a day. And I just have not had time, which is just lame. Right? Yeah, it's just lame. Okay, let's... Where the... Oh, I can just go in here. Um, uh, we need a food bowl. And we have a litter box. Cool. Awesome. Now let's place those things... Um... In here. Thank you for purchasing. Well, you're welcome. That was a delayed notification. Um... Inventory. We have so much stuff in our inventory. I was going to sell those parts, but then I remembered that we need to up her handiness skill so she can get into some of those secret places. Also, we can sell so many of these things, but... Wait, when do we get cherries? When do we get these things? Oh, some of our spliced plants must have been ready. Where is the cat food bowl? I must be staring right at it. No. I don't see it. Guys, also, this is a good place to collect frogs, I just realized. Um, I remembered. Okay, guys, where is the food bowl? I'm not kidding. I. Okay, we're going to go one by one. Because I'm just not seeing it. Oh, you know what I just remembered? The awesome snow globe. The um, Grim Reaper snow globe. Now I remember. I really want one in real life. That's so strange. It's not here. Okay, well, we'll get it in a minute because, um, well, let's make sure Doodle's not still hungry. She probably is. Hey, she's not sick anymore, though. That's good. Doodle, slow down. Slow down. Slow down. All right, maybe we need to feed her now. I don't want, if you were in my stream over the weekend, then, um, you saw the issue I had with, um, animals, and I don't want a similar situation to happen today. Especially not with Doodle. Doodle's important. I mean, not to say the peanut from my other thing isn't, but Doodle is very important. Okay, yeah, she is hungry. Okay, um, Vivian's hungry, too. I almost called her Macy, which would be... Super incorrect, but okay. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Don't have to explain to them why we need it. We just need them to know that we need a pet food bowl. Even though I definitely bought one. Okay. That's so strange. Now it's in her inventory. Okay. Well, whatever. Let's just feed little little Doodle real quick. And then we will start doing things. Because Vivian can wait to eat. She'll be alright. Because it's 9.30 in the morning. Wait, it's, nine, it's only 9.30? Whoa, okay. Let's harvest this. I'm so excited. This whole... Oh, too far. My bad. We have all these, these things to explore. And, um, that's not exciting. I don't know what is. I mean, that's basically this whole challenge is, like, collecting plants and stuff. So, this is the dream. Dun, 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 dun. Okay. Oh, the butterflies. Wait. <gasps> okay, she doesn't need to, but I'm going to collect those just because, <laughs> to be honest, I haven't done that, and... I want to know what it looks like when you collect them. Oh, that's a basil bush. Speaking of plants, guys, um, again, if you're, like, keeping up with me, oh, you're so cute, um, then you know that I also posted um, the 100 Rescue Challenge a day late this week because it was warm outside on Easter, and I wanted to um, do stuff with my plants. And I did. I went and got more. I got some more plants 
which is great. And I took care of all my other plants and I did some pruning and some shearing and some watering, you know, all that good stuff. Um, it was fabulous. I got a, um, where was I going with this? Oh, basil, because that was a basil plant. Uh, my basil plant is having a time. I don't know what is wrong with it. I don't think I've figured out exactly how much water it needs yet, which is dumb because I had a basil plant before and it was well. And now I'm like, I haven't had one in a while and I'm back in the basil game and why? Back in the basil game. Okay. <laughs> um, that's Vivian right now. Oh, I missed her catching the, darn it. Okay. We're not going to do it again. No time. Um, but anyway, and so my basil's a little wealthy, but all my other plants are looking good. I've got like this whole little herb garden in my window. Um, and magical, I've already turned my plants into more plants. My, uh, one of my mint, I have a mint plant because in case you didn't know, I am obsessed with mint in every capacity, not just the color, but also the plants, all of them. I have discovered that every plant related to mint in some capacity, like every variation and all of its related plants are the best plants. Um, have you ever heard of lamb's ears? Those are the, they're the softest plants ever and they're amazing. I go get a lamb's ear. Go get yourself a lamb's ear plant. You will not regret it. And I don't know what else to say. Like, do you need convincing? It's literally these big fuzzy leaves that are as soft as lamb's ears. Like, they're named such for a reason. If you can't have a pet, but you can have a pet plant, get a lamb's ear, give it a fun name, and pet that thing. <laughs> but anyway, um, one of my mint plants... Um, a little piece broke off of it when I was repotting it and I put that sucker in some water for a week and it grew roots and now I have two mint plants. And so I'm slowly like working through um, all of my plants one at a time, turning them into more plants. So I took a cutting off of my basil plant and I'm growing a second basil plant because I have my small little window herb garden and I'm going to turn it into multiple herb gardens. So I'm going to have an indoor one and an outdoor one because um, I obviously have more space outdoors than indoors. And so um, the indoor one will be like an all year herb garden. And then the outdoor one will be like a seasonal herb garden that I can get the plants really big in and use for like collecting and drying herbs, which probably you don't care about. I don't know, unless you're into plants, but I think it's exciting. And I also like I'm working on flowers, but it's not quite warm enough for flowers. And so I only have a couple. I've got like some hyacinths and stuff. Flowers will come. But right now, it's all about the leafy greens. I got to, okay, here, this is the exciting thing is I want, really like plants. And I have a problem because I will buy, plants are not cheap. And so I'll buy a lot of plants and I'll spend all my money on them. But the best part is they're like leafy green friends. And so I name as many of my plants as I can. So now I have a pothos plant, which are like pretty standard, like kind of like a viney house slash office plant that's really easy to take care of. And its name is Charles, but I call him Charlie. I have this huge cactus that I think I talked about during the seven days in Salvadorada challenge with Live the Simmer um, named Henry. I have one of my new plants is an elephant ear, like a huge elephant ear. And her name is Ellie. I have a majesty palm, which majesty palms are insane. They're huge and they grow so fast. And it's just like, if you want to turn your home or a room into a paradise, slap a majesty palm in there. The hardest part is making sure you water it enough because they're tropical, so they need a lot of water. But other than that, amazing. Just this poof, literal whoosh of greenery. Um, and my majesty palm's name is Ferdinand. And I'm forgetting someone I know. I don't know. Once I get my mint plant really big or one of them really big, I'm going to name that. But I need to develop a connection because right now they're just these little sprigs. Little spriggy mints. And while they are adorable and they smell fantastic, they are not the, um, she's going hiking. What? They are not my friends yet. They're not. I got to make sure, like... <laughs> Again, I've taken care of mint before too, but it was an outdoor mint and I didn't bring it inside. And so I didn't make it over the winter because I also didn't think to cover it. So that mint didn't make it. 
Plus, it gets really hot where I am in the summer because I live near the beach, and so it'll be 100 degrees outside, and sometimes your plants just don't make it because they literally just get f fried in the sun. Um, but yeah, so this mint plant needs to show that it's committed to me, and it's already huge, like, and not huge in like, because mint plants will get really bushy. This has become like a plant lesson. I'm sorry if you're not feeling that, but if you are, hello, welcome to my plant club. Um, but it's like twirling around stuff and being wild and crazy and it keeps trying to like inch its way into my other plants even though they're all in separate containers and it's like I'm gonna come for you and mint is a notor notorious murder plant like they'll go and like take the space of other plants and like creep in and suffocate everybody so I have to watch it because it's it's out for blood out for chlorophyll <laughs> um oh and I grow strawberries I have a pot of strawberries on my balcony and they're amazing I got them last year and the first year you get strawberries and they'll grow the plant will flower oh frogs what are you buying oh my gosh they'll but anyway they'll grow they'll flower and then you'll get strawberries and they'll be like kind of tiny strawberries but they taste great and and you won't get that many I think like in total I got like one solid bowl of strawberries through for that whole the whole season of them last year but now the second year they're supposed to be a lot better and so my plants like filling out more and I've already got like they just came into season and I already have like 12 flowers so that's 12 strawberries as long as they don't um uh meet any complications and by complications I mean uh my boyfriend watering them when he's not supposed to and leaving the ground wet and the strawberries sit and rot Last year, I probably would have had more strawberries last year, but my boyfriend decided, or well, not hit my, just my boyfriend, but I didn't know how to water them then, and I was watering them enough, like, they were watered properly as far as, like, keeping the plant alive, but you can't, what I've learned is you can't really water around the plant. You, I water around the outside edge of the pot just so the soil gets wet, because if the soil under the plant's wet, then when the strawberries blossom, then they, um... They sit in the wet dirt and they rot and then you get a massive fruit fly problem on your balcony, which takes forever to get rid of. I had to like smother them in newspapers and like water my plant with like a mixture of like a tiny bit of vinegar and water and then I had to put a cup full of dish soap in the leaves of the plant, like hidden in there for them to die. And It was awful. Like I don't recommend like... Don't summon fruit flies unless you're summoning them on your enemies and then like go for it because they, they won't be able to get rid of them. Fruit flies are evil creatures and you won't, you won't be able to get rid of them. I'm just telling you. Vivian, where are you at? We should probably fade Vivian. And let's check on Doodle. Doodle, what are you up to? Oh, the dudes. Oh, she's so cute. Doodle on vacation, living her best life. Oh, this cabin's kind of cute. In this save, I haven't renovated anything, but I'm not offended by this. What is wrong? Can you go to the bathroom, please? Go. My goodness. Okay, let's see what the deal is with... Nope, nope. Where are you going? Where are you going? We need... Oh my goodness, doodle pause. <laughs> Could not catch her. Um, what's your deal? And then you can eat, Vivian, once we find out what's wrong with Doodle. Go, 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 go. Have we made any, like... Oh. Uh, I'm sorry, Doodle. Let's... Give her a treat, and we will comfort her. And we'll take her to the vet first thing when we get back to civilization. And it'll be great. Um... What was I like? Oh, our gardening skill. Why can't I? Oh, it's down here. Darn it. That did not help as much as I was hoping it would, which kind of sucks, but that's okay. We got some new frogs. Let's check out our frog collection. Okay, yeah. We definitely need to breed some frogs. Because, oh, we got, so we got two new frogs. Striped dirt frog and a spotted eggplant frog, which... For some reason, I felt like we already had, but that's okay. There are 25 frogs. Okay, so yeah, we're going to have to breed some frogs because I feel like we could fill in a lot of these. But I don't have most of our frogs with us. So wait, what is it? 
Spotted eggplant frog. And this is a hypno frog. Is there such thing as a spotted hypno frog? Do we have one on us? Spotted leaf frog. Hip yeah, okay. Let's breed the hypno frog with the um, spotted leaf frog and see if we get something exciting or if we just get another. Do we just get another thing? Spotted eggplant frog, spotted leaf frog. Okay, we shot another hypno frog. That's not exciting at all. What bugs did we get? We got a Jezebel butter butterfly. I okay, we got three Jezebel butterflies. That's not exciting either. Oh, well, I think that's pretty cool. Oh, but what are these? We got unidentified fruit. How do you identify them? Attempt to identify them. Oh, that must be a thing. So, wait, is unidentified fruit a thing or will it turn into something we need? Because we do have some plants that we have not yet... Where are they? Gardening. That we have not yet gotten. Oh, it seems like they are things. Darn it. For, look at how many non-base game fruits there are. Like, whoa. Um... Which ones are city? Are there any city living ones? It doesn't look like it. Okay, cool. So we just need to get, like, the basics. We don't have an apple. Are you kidding me? How do we not have an apple? Uh, I think, is that dragon fruit? No, I think dragon fruit's uncommon. This is dragon fruit. No. I don't know. How do we not have our dragon fruit yet? We need to get on it. and we But we can plant a cherry tree now. And... Some strawberries and all kinds of cool stuff, which will be great. But we are going to do that in the. Yeah, that's herbalism. We don't really need to do that. Lame. Okay, but we will do all that in the next episode because Vivi needs to eat and I'm going to let you go. Um, anyway, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'd love to know what you think, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.